Now, first off, we're going to be looking here at an ohm meter, and this is just a cheap, I think I paid 11 or $12 for it, but it has a setting down here, and that setting shows a buzzer. And when you touch the two leads together, I'm going to try to do that one-handed here, you can hear the buzzer. So we're going to be using that in part of our timing thing. I'm going to show you how in just a second. All right. I have attached a couple of alligator clips. And I don't remember where I got these. Um, probably Harbor Freight or something like that. And they have these alligator clips at both ends. And so now, when I touch those two things together, I get the same buzz. And we're going to be able to hook these up onto the distributor. And we're going to be able to see, or hear, as it turns out, when the points open and close. Alright, so I've got one part of the, of the uh, thing on one side of the points and one on the other, and when I rotate the distributor, oops, it fell off. Now this uh, side mounted bolt there, when you loosen it up, allows the adjustment of the timing. And so if you'll look at your manual, you're going to see that that's what they call for. And so I'm going to attempt to fiddle with it until I get the points to quit beeping when I get to that scribe line right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that and then I'll show you how I did it. Well YouTubers, here we are again. I'm trying to time the uh, 8N, early 8N, 9N type of distributor. And just want to show you the uh, manual calls for the ruler, the stiff ruler, to be across the wide end. I'm going to go ahead and clip my little thing on there so that'll hold it in place. I've still got the ohm meter hooked up. You can see here that there's a uh, I've got a, a scribe mark and it's going to start to buzz and when I get to the hat or that scribe line you can see that the um, break, breaker points are opening and that's what the manual calls for is that quarter inch from the edge of the hole and so this is the two-handed method to make it work and so I'm going to go ahead and call it properly timed. If it hadn't been properly timed of course we would have come down here and we would have loosened that gizmo right there and played with the uh, timing behind or with that screw there and this part right here slides back and forth and that adjusts the timing. So we're going to call it timed and that'll be the best thing we can do here.